Hey guys, how's it going? It's your girl about to teach you how to make some awesome oatmeal. I was going to do a fall recipe video, but I feel like it's a little too late for that. So it's just gonna be fall and winter oatmeal idea video. Fall and winter oatmeal recipe video. And then there's only two, I'm sorry. All right, so here we go. First, we're gonna make some banana nut, banana bread, whatever you wanna call them, oatmeal. And I started by mashing up a banana into a pot, but I like to leave some chunks because I like chunks. And then I put in my oats and my non-dairy milk. Almond milk is probably the best tasting in these, but any other is obviously fine too. Then I mixed in about a tablespoon of cinnamon because I love cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of cloves. And then way too much vanilla, but it should have been like a teaspoon. Oh, and then I added more milk because it was starting to get too thick. When that was done cooking, I stirred in some cut up dates and some walnuts so they would soften in the gooeyness. And then on top of that, I put some more banana, some dates, some walnuts, and then this makes it less healthy, obviously, but also some chocolate chips. And then woo, maple syrup. Okay, but to be honest, I was a bit too focused on the aesthetic and I overdid it with all the banana and dates and maple syrup. It turned out a bit too sweet. So just keep that in mind when you're adding in your toppings and such. Don't get carried away. But regardless, wonderful gooey Philly oatmeal breakfast for you, my friends. Next, we gonna make some, I'm gonna call it apple spice because I'm not that great at coming up with names and that's literally what it is. Think like pumpkin spice, you know? All the same spices, no pumpkin. Apple. Okay, so nothing fancy here, just making some oats. And then what's that? Everybody's putting turmeric in their oatmeal, so I thought I'd try it out and it doesn't do anything to the taste, just adds the color. Still, I put a bit too much, but it's all good. I guess it's healthy, you know? It's good for you. Then I put in a teaspoon of vanilla. Then you gotta cut up them apples, and I used a Granny Smith apple. Put it in a pan on medium with a bit of coconut oil. Um, don't complain! You don't have to use oil if you're one of those vegans that thinks oil is the devil. It just tastes better, in my opinion, alright? Then add a splash of water, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a pinch of cloves, a dash of salt, a splash of vanilla. It might have been like a teaspoon, I honestly don't remember. Some maple syrup or whatever other sweetener that you want to use. Then let that boil for a minute or so and then crumble in some walnuts or whatever nuts you have in the house or don't even use nuts if you don't have any nuts. Nuts are just a fun little add-in. Then keep cooking on medium until the apples get soft and then pour on your oats. Woo! So yeah, that's yummy oatmeal for your cozy fall winter mornings. Hope you like it. Okay, that's all I have today, but feel free to comment what you like to put in your oatmeal in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later. I appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and smash that subscribe button. 